Hello fans and friends across the universe and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel from me to you. My name's Keir Smith. Back today with another video I'm calling Beatles fans buy anything. Hey, speak for yourself man, I hear some of you say. And of course, I'm speaking about myself here, but I also know that I'm speaking about and for a lot of you Beatle maniacs out there. I've got a cupboard upstairs in my house dedicated purely to Beatles stuff and I was in there the other day trying to make room and just laughing to myself at all of this stuff that I've gathered through the years. So I thought I'd make this video and show you some of this stuff that I've got. Some of the items are quite interesting actually, but a lot of it is it's just stuff that sits in a box in a cupboard and it's rather unnecessary really. I think I had this unwritten rule, especially in my younger years, whereby if I saw something and it had the Beatles on it or it said the Beatles on it, then I bought it. And I'm certain that many of you watching this video are already looking around me saying, oh yeah, I've got one of those. So I thought that this would make for a fun video because it'll certainly highlight just how much of a Beatles nerd I am and how silly some of my collecting habits are. But hey, largely, I'm a happy consumer. And so with all that said, have a look at all of this. I'll start with this, a Beatles 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. I'd already got that Beatles for sale one and I walked into a charity shop, I think last year, and sold this for 2 dollars I don't even know if it's got all of the pieces, but I'll trust it has. But in any case, I don't have time to do jigsaw puzzles. Certainly not a thousand pieces. I've got the Beatles Monopoly Collector's Edition. And honestly, I've never played this and I've only just noticed that the pieces that move around the board, you've got a sun, here comes the sun. You've got a silver hammer, a strawberry fields forever, a walrus, a rocky raccoon and an octopus's garden. But yeah, I've never played it, but I had to have it. I think that my parents actually bought me that as a Christmas present, but yeah, it's never seen the light of day. This next item I'm going to show, I was actually talking to my brother Liam about this just the other day. He brought it to my attention and said, we should get this and play it and put our Beatles knowledge to the test. And little did I know that I'd had it set upstairs all along. This is the Beatles Trivia Pursuit, 600 questions. So yeah, come on over bro, we'll play it. Beatles pens, a hard day's night, apple, look at these groovy things, yellow submarine socks. A little Beatles toy, a Hey Jude guitar, you press the button on the guitar and it plays Hey Jude to you. A Beatles Hot Wheels car, yellow submarine related, very nice. God knows why I bought these. Well, obviously I know why I bought them, but a Beatles tin, rubber sole, got an Abbey Road one of course, and a revolver one. A Beatles alarm clock that I've never used that I would have likely picked up at a car boot sale, I think over in America you call it a flea market, but this is a 1988 Apple Corpse Limited piece. I've just been sat in the cupboard again for years and years. I've probably had this 20 years, maybe longer. This next item is quite interesting actually, and again I will have picked this up at a car boot sale for maybe a quid or two tops. This is a Beatles Yellow Submarine belt buckle that I've certainly never put on a belt, but it is an officially licensed product from 1994. It weighs a bit too. That didn't show up too good when I was recording, so there it is again. The Beatles multicoloured Yellow Submarine belt buckle, and there's the back side of it. 1994 Apple Corps Limited officially licensed product. Limited edition, 0584. An interesting item, if nothing else. A yellow submarine watch, which I will have received as a Christmas present. Really nice, but it's never been out of the box. This is really nice. I used to wear this all the time when I worked in the office in my younger years. A Beatles tie. I used to wear it proudly. Next, I've got a John Lennon mug with a key ring in a presentation tin. Here it is. I've got about seven or eight of these from the Corgi series. This is the Beatles newspaper taxi. A yellow submarine toy. This is Paul. I've got George. I've got John. I don't have Ringo. I'll have to get on eBay and find Ringo just to complete the set. Around 20, 25 years ago, they sold these Beatles postcards in HMV for 50 pence a piece and I bought so many of these. No need for them, just nice pictures that if I didn't have them, I pick them up. 
etc. A nice big yellow submarine clock that again I've never used and I've just noticed by looking at the clock that at the number four it says can I have a little more and at number 10 it says I love you which is obviously related to the All Together Now song. Never noticed that before but that's very cute I like that. A limited edition set only 2,000 of these worldwide. Warus cards not Walrus Warus W-A-R-U-S Rubber Soul I bought that at a Beatles convention, again, maybe 20 years back and probably overpaid for it. Andy Nichols from the Two Legs YouTube channel mentioned this Dutch publication that ran this series of Paul McCartney magazines. And as soon as he did, I went online and parted with around about £40 for these magazines. Great title. This one is a McCartney 2 special. I got another one on the Feynman album, Electric Arguments. And there was two parts to my favourite Paul McCartney album, Ram, that I had to pick up. And of course, I could show you many, many more items, but you get the picture. Beatles fans, buy anything. If I'm fortunate enough to get to a thousand subscribers, maybe I'll do a giveaway of some sort because I could do with clearing some of this stuff out and make way for the many box sets and records that are clearly coming our way. But for now, I'll take this back upstairs and neatly store it away in that cupboard. And I'm thinking that maybe this video will start a flurry of YouTube videos where people show all of this unnecessary Beatles stuff that they've amassed over the years. But as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you for my next video sometime soon. Bye for now.